My Country 99.3 WCON. You think cornhole is not something to be taken seriously? Think again. We're talking with Drew Brown, and he is part of the pro circuit for cornhole. There is actually an American Cornhole League, and he is ranked number 12 in the American Cornhole League. He's especially known for his slider. Drew, how did you get involved in cornhole? Well, I kind of started about 15 years ago. I played uh, college baseball and ended up hurting my arm and everything else. I went back home and kind of had to think of something that was competitive to keep my competitive edge up. And my cousin had brought some boards to the Thanksgiving dinner and beat up on me pretty good. And I kind of took that to heart and practiced all winter around and came back the next year and made sure that I didn't let that happen again. But they had they had tournaments locally. I was going to tournaments locally after that, and I was able to win a lot of local tournaments, and I kind of just expanded my region to kind of play further and further out. And before I knew it, I was kind of on the pro circuit and everything else. Drew Brown, he's with the American Cornhole League from the pro circuit, and he's got more tips on how to approach the board throughout the show today. You can also visit peachstakecornhole.com to find out how you can get him to be your coach. Music on the way from Garth Brooks, Randy Travis, and Rascal Flats. My Country 99.3 WCON, it's Kathy Nicholson. It doesn't take much for me to get confused. And Drew Brown, who is with the American Cornhole League, is on the pro circuit. Drew, I'm a little bit confused about how you play the game of cornhole. Can you break it down for me? Some of like the simple rules, you want to make sure that you're throwing one bag at a time, your opponent throws one bag, and your partner would be directly across from you, straight ahead from you, and then your opponent would be lined up in front of each other as well. And then uh, it's cancellation scoring, so you've got one on the board, three in the hole. After each round, after you and your opponent both throw four of your bags, you, you cancel each other scoring out. Score you end up with for that round, you tack it on to your overall score, and the first one to 21 or over actually wins. See, I don't know what's wrong with my brother-in-law, Chris, and I'm just going to throw him under the bus here, but you just made that so easy for me to understand. You must have encountered a blonde before. Yeah, I was <laughs> <laughs> playing on the beach, and I like to inform people I don't want to kind of push anybody and, and bully them into playing against my rules. But I do like to inform people, like, hey, this is this is how the people on, on TV play. And I got more from Drew Brown coming up, and plus I've got some Doug Stone and Brad Paisley. Tim McGraw's up next. Today, everyone is expecting you to maintain a new level of clean. My Country 99.3 WCO and Kathy Nicholson with you on this Monday on the job. You may be like me, surprised that there is a National American League of Cornholers. Drew Brown has been my guest throughout the day today, and we're talking about the sport of cornholing. Drew, is it a contender yet for the Olympics? <laughs> Not yet. Right now they're kind of uh, working on it. Um, I think their main goal in order for like the first step in the process of doing that is adding different countries. The ACL, the American Cornhole League, they've been really good with kind of creating like this world cornhole organization and, and they've added Japan and Germany and Canada. And well, Drew, I found it very fascinating that during the quarantine, you guys have had like virtual tournaments where you can go online and actually play someone virtually. How does that work? You can go on like Facebook Live or something and play against somebody that's in a totally different part of the world. The quarantine things kind of helped with incorporating or letting other countries kind of join in on what we have going on over here in the state. My Country 99.3, WCO and Kathy on the job about to head out. Chad Mann's coming in here shortly. Before I leave, Drew Brown, our guest, he is with the American Cornhole League. Drew, how do you prepare for a tournament? I want to keep my heart rate down, kind of relax. I don't want to be too excited, even though, I mean, this is a great opportunity for anybody to kind of show out, get their face on ESPN, get that big win, big dollars, and, and maybe big sponsorship. So it is kind of nerve-wracking. It does make you nervous, but my best thing is I, I just I want to wake up early. I don't want to be rushing myself. I want to get some breakfast, a good breakfast, um, to get to the venue on, on decent time, and and relax, get some practice throws, and, and kind of get into the groove of staying consistent and keeping the heart rate down and playing my best game possible. Well, I'm looking forward to meeting you. Our guest today has been Drew Brown, and Drew, you're going to be so impressed with my skills. I just know it. <laughs> 
I'm sure I will. I definitely will be. I, I, I think they're going to probably name one of the particular approaches I have and throws I have. They're going to name it after me because I don't think anyone else has ever thrown the way I can throw. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll advocate for that too as well. <laughs> it's the high in the air approach. That's a classic Kathy Nicholson throw right there. Oh wait, someone's down. It's it's someone in the crowd. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh no. Thank you, Drew Brown, for coming <laughs> on the show today. Look forward to meeting you. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure.